this is tight in this small greenhouse. Uh, yeah, so we have a lot of new stacky uh, blocks. This one had the problem of moisture and got mold everywhere. So now we are trying to to minimize the problem and save the blocks, save some flushes. So they are all here are starting to make some mushrooms at uh, different stages so I keep them always wet with my little spray or this spray them so that I just show you like this I avoid wetting the block just a minimum to keep the small ball wet and this will hopefully become like this Sometimes they don't make it like this one here. He's trying, 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 but doesn't become a mushroom. And after that, we have these blocks that has yes, this one is dead. It has too much mold. But the others that like the sun, sun, sun bathing here. So they take a lot of UV light and this kills the molds and harden the shiitake skin. Look at this one. This is good skin. It has a bit of blackening because of the bacteria. But it's mostly very good skin of shiitake that will be mold resistant. This is not a good skin here. Too white, too brittle. Well, that's the browning process that makes a good skin, so we have some mold. So all these blocks, including these ones, has been watered for three days because we had a problem of a leak, leak uh, leaking over the blocks. So they've been watered, they are, some of them, this one is over-soaked, it was broken. Okay, it's dead, mostly. But I have also a good reserve of dry blocks. This is like bricks. Uh, some of them are very small. This one, I think, gave at least five times <laughs> mushrooms. And so you can store them for later. And when you want to start new blocks, you just soak them in water let them dry a bit in the sun on the outside and then put them here wait the small balls to appear like this then like this and always keep them dry the small balls uh, and then they will grow into something like this okay you still keep them wet so they will become big uh, and a little ball like this. Some, sometimes you don't notice them or they hide underneath. And yes, when they are at, let's say, this stage or this stage here, that you see one line, two lines, and the margin. So this I consider is ready to harvest. So we'll get it, maybe some people think it's too late. Okay, we can see from the bottom, yes, it's, it's a bit late for this one. Okay. Yes, they should all be harvested a bit sooner. Like, uh, yes, this one is the same stage, and this one maybe is a bit too early. Okay. Maybe this is the perfect stage. You see only the one line here. The bottom line is not yet distinct. It's not yet open, the full uh, cap like you can see here. These blocks. Okay, so this is, these blocks are um, have been um, fruited at least the first flush, maybe a second flush before getting mold. So you can see there is mold in here, 
We had recently an accident that uh, all the blocks after the first flush was a bit like this because we forgot them like for five days in 98% moisture. So after they made the nice pin sets, uh, well, the mushrooms were. <coughs> it was too humid for too long, and so it was also mold that started to grow. So what I'm, uh, I'm going to to do is I'm going to follow this block on over a week, and hoping even more than a week. Okay, so you, you look at it. It's uh, it has mold all over here. And my purpose here is to show you that you can get the mold away from your block, okay? So there is a good potential in this block. It has just a mold on the surface. And if you don't do it right, I mean, you lose the block in one flush and you won't get any mushrooms of, out of it. But if you do it right, you will be able to flush it, I don't know, three, four, five times, li like the, the small ones in there. So this probably is uh, after the first flush. This will take these uh, three uh, quite uh, attacked blocks to uh, demonstrate uh, the potential of uh, mold uh, fighting using the sunlight. So this is the idea. Okay, have a look at this. Okay, any mushroom grower would say, I mean, if if I had this on on an oyster block, I would just use it in the garden, throw it away. I won't try to get more mushrooms because I know that it will become very nasty. But for shiitake, I have a lot of hope since uh, I tried many times now to do it like this and to use the sun. Actually, the idea is to uh, r remove all these uh, affected areas, uh, wash the block very well, and then put it to dry in the sun. Okay? Especially the spots that get the mold, they get, must go in the sun. Okay, and this is a good thing that we have so much sun here. So I will do it right now. Okay. First thing, you want to just remove the spores. Okay, after this you take a good shower huh? because uh, you don't go to make agars or uh, new sterile blocks. No, you go to take a shower because you will be covered with these small spores. But it's okay, I mean... So the idea is to remove first the spores everywhere where they are. And you will notice that when the block becomes wet, it has different colors, brown and black, depending on how, what's the health. So you can see all this black. And this is more brown, but if you look in the detail, you can see that somehow these areas are uh, changing and at the top it's a bit the same and so what I'm going to do now is to increase the pressure okay so this will break all the loose okay so now you can see with the finger this is this is what I'm touching now is um, the tissue that has been attacked by uh, bacteria or by the, the mold uh, mycelium and this make it smooth instead of hard as uh, I mean when it's wet okay and so this is why I'm like rubbing the block trying to remove these spots of 
smooth tissue. Okay. Uh, my goal is to remove as much uh, tissue of trichoderma as possible. Ah, also, I have like this kind of grows from the from the shiitake itself. Sometimes it try to make fruits and it, it fails, and then this start to rot, and this is not good as well. So I remove this. Okay. And I had also here. Usually, it's around the spots where you have the green moth. So you can do it. You can find them like this, and when you increase the pressure, also the water will remove this. You can see like here, here. It, it is losing the skin because the skin of the shiitake has been attacked by the trichoderma that made it soft, and now it's going away. That's what is happening. So now the last. Uh, so usually I do it much faster uh, because I don't have to. I use two hands and I don't have to explain at the same time what I'm doing. So okay, the first one is okay. We we put it this way, and let's take this one. Okay, this one is a real small one. I think it had made at least three, four flushes before coming here and it has mold in the both sides um, it's quite advanced actually i'm not sure we w i will be able to get it back it's already a lot <coughs> on both sides on three sides here here and here so now i'm going to again wash the mold away and don't me, uh, do the mistake of thinking that when you remove the mold and the spores and the mycelium, you have removed uh, the mold. No, no, it's not. It's just there. It's still there. So you just remove the part of it. So what? Um, and also you remove the kind of skin of it. So now you made it more vulnerable to sun rays. So <clears throat> again with the water pressure alone usually it do the trick. It's not so strong. And uh, so, uh, don't do it like me at the end of the day, because I won't have many hours of sun. I think I need at least two, three hours of sun, so the block dries, and the next day is to get like good uh, dosage of sun. So, I think this one also is ready. Kind of removed all the soft things and all the mold parts. This one is very hard, it's very dry also. I don't know why the mold was growing on it. Okay, two more. Okay, this one has molds on the small spots or on one place and the center here. So what happens, is this is the top and usually they make bubble, bubbles inside the bag and then when I get them out, these become soft things and they get molded easily and at the bottom is the same, there is some... if it was more flat, it would mold less I mean. So I can put them in the sun before the sun is away, at least to dry today. And tomorrow they will get a good dose of ultraviolet that, I, in my opinion, is enough to kill uh, the mold that grows at the surface of the block of the mycelium, of the 
I mean the shiitake block. Um, uh, I mean uh, enough to allow uh, to continue getting mushrooms. So by soaking the block and actually m what I noticed is the uh, the mold is, uh, starts regressing. So it grows back, but less than the first time. What happens is that it it, uh, it will it will dry. It will become like this black black skin, dry and not like totally like the shiitake skin. But uh, uh, I'm looking for an example here. A bit different, like like. Uh, so, but it won't grow mold anymore. But also, you. I'm not saying that. Okay, mold is finished. Uh, you still have like to keep your uh, to let your blocks dry very often, so you don't get the mold again. It's not a cure forever. It's just temporary relief. So now I'm going to take care of all these blocks. Uh, maybe I can show you. Uh, me working, I mean. And uh, put them all in the sun to dry well. And when they are, well, they took a, a good sun bath, then I will put them, uh, soak them again, put them in the fridge and trigger another flush, put them in here uh, like this one and get mushrooms and so on. And also, yes, we live with a whole ecosystem uh, where they make perform interesting tasks like ants here. Uh, yes, the ants they eat the, the fungus flies, but also we have ateta. Uh, um, it's another insect that also eats fungus flies. Well, we got uh, many new locks uh, from the lab. The one I have shown you uh, are recovering quite well. Now it's the second day they are taking the sun. There is a little bit of um, mold remaining. You can see that most of it is gone. Of course, no, now it means nothing. It's after the dunk, after the soak, that it matters. Okay, first up, update about uh, how to fight mold with uh, shiitake. So here, uh, yeah, I just soaked uh, these blocks yesterday and I let them out to dry. But I didn't have time to turn them actually, and you see, I just turned them now. There is these nasty spots of 
white mycelium growing on the outside of the block okay and this is not shiitake mycelium okay this is mold mycelium and you will notice also that it grows mostly in the black black spots like here here also in brown spots here it's brown mostly but it prefers black spots and I have on these blocks that stayed uh, the most uh, moist so yes so these blocks I think took like 24 hours to dry uh, I didn't have much time to take care of them to turn them actually or to put them in a drier place uh, like look here they are drying like this but you see here it's like very wet it's not breathing so well. Maybe I could also bring a ventilator and make some some wind to help them dry out. But some of them are okay. They have no traces at all of what whatever like this. So now I'm going to uh, beat them and put them in the fridge. But I want to show you this kind of uh, detail that okay you think maybe it's not important, but it is this is not good and this means it's it stayed wet too long and this I think I, I'm waiting for the Sun to show up in my balcony to give it like one hour of sunlight and it will be gone and yes we have a little bit here as well okay that's not so it's not a so so big deal but if I don't treat it now it will be worse and worse with time and I can show you here we have another example so these blocks um, what happened exactly is I soaked them they were not so well dried and after I've been to I put them in the fridge and let them in the fridge and the fridge was actually raining on them the fridge was not working very well and so they were wet and when I removed them from the fridge they were like this if you manage to see with the, this high con contrast maybe not what I do is to put this block like this so it has sun over the mold here this area the bottom as well I put I, I did uh, place it in the other way earlier so it can have uh, um, also a little bit of sun from this side okay uh, the problem here is most of these uh, new mushrooms will probably do I will try to keep them moist for for this hour of sun bathing or else they will just abort okay this is not like it's in, in, incompatible to have to fight the mold and to grow the new mushrooms in the same time so 